In the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, it says in verse 13, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. All right, today I'm going to be playing you a clip from Boy Child, Troy Black, master manipulator, talented seducer, one of the worst on YouTube. And I'll tell you, if you have ears to hear, uh, if you listen to these videos, for those of you that are seeking Jesus in truth and sober-mindedness, you'll hear their deception in every video. This one is exceptional because I, it's, it just really speaks to the absolute blasphemy and the zero fear of God, again, that this child has or doesn't have before the living God. Let's listen to this clip and we'll comment as we go. But I'm trying to be obedient and I'm honestly, y'all, trying to share more uh, more often because I get a lot of words. Um, I actually have, I didn't mean to do this, but I have like several of my journals. He didn't mean to do this. Oh, but look, one, two, three, I've got four journals. How many do you have? Oh, that's right, peasant. You're not a prophet like me. God speaks to me so much that I've got four journals. That's how much God speaks to me. But he didn't mean to do that, just so you know. Sitting here that I write words in, and I've got more to share in a second. But there have been some things where I, I see something happen on the news. You know, something comes out on the news, and I, and, I, and I think, man, didn't the Lord say something to me about that? And I... Do you see his confusion there? He hears a story on the news, and then he says, well, didn't I hear... Prophet, didn't God give me something on that? I don't remember. He's saying, can't really even remember. Try to imagine what I'm saying here. This child says that he hears from the living God of all creation. The living God. Put that into perspective. For those that don't understand how holy and how awesome the living God is, to, to, to be in a position where you're actually hearing from him. And this guy says, I don't remember. If that's a news story, first of all, he's going on the news, hearing news stories and saying, wait a second, didn't God give me a word on that? He doesn't even remember. Well, so he said, I mean, we know that he's fake because I can tell you that if you're hearing from the living God, you would never forget. You're serving God in one of the most incredible offices that are there, prophecy. Remember, this guy speaks to 274,000 people. Can you imagine the answer that he's going to have to give on Judgment Day? He says, so well, he wasn't sure, but I'll let him finish here. I go back and I look in the journal and I'm like, sure enough, you know, a couple months ago, you know, the Lord gave me a word about this very thing. And he said, share this in two weeks. And then I forgot. Y'all are not the only ones that need grace today. <laughs> Is that funny? Did you hear what he said? As an example, he's confessing that he forgot to give prophecies. That that's actually plural. He says it, it happens, and then and then making it worse, he jokes and laughs about it at the end. There. Now try to take his statement at face value. He's confessing to you that, according to him, the God of all creation speaks to him, gives him prophecies to share, and sometimes says on this specific date. And then he confesses to forgetting. When you're playing video games, you're eating fruity pebbles, such as forgot, Lord, I just forgot. And then he says, arrogantly looking down at his computer, y'all aren't the only ones that need grace today, something like that. And then laughs about it. Is that funny? Because I can tell you that if I was truly hearing from the Holy of Holies, the living God, and, and by the way, you can think of across time how many men have desired to hear firsthand from the living God and haven't. Most don't, you know, hearing firsthand. I mean, we hear through the written word, but you know what I'm saying. And this guy's like, oh, not only do I have four giant journals, I hear so much from God that I have four books that I journal it in. Um, but then... You know, it's not important enough to even remember to do what the living God instructed me to do. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Now, I say this all under the guise of supposing that this guy is actually hearing from God. We know that he's not. 
But what he's revealing to you is that he is a deceiver. The fact that it didn't come from God only proves that he knows that it wasn't important to share. What he's really confessing is that when he hears a news story that he might have ired, uh, I'm sorry, uttered a psychic prediction about, he probably gets bummed out that he didn't put it on video because that would have gave him more credibility. But you can see that it really doesn't bother him. He's not convicted. I may have said this before, I'll say it again. If, if I heard from the living God and I forgot to deliver one of his words, I would be in the darkest corner of my basement in the fetal position, trembling in fear before the living God for failing to do what he personally came to me, giving me a message and failing to, you know, put it out to the masses based on the excuse, oh, I forgot. Unbelievable. I pray that if you're following this talented seducer, this false prophet, that you will wake up, come away from this nonsense and serve the living God in truth and sober-mindedness. Seek the living God through his holy word, our Bible, and stop listening to these frauds who are just making money while deceiving you. And again, never prophesying even one prophecy correct. How does that work? Why are you a part of this? Please serve Jesus in truth and sincerity. And Troy, if you're listening, I pray for you. I pray that you will stop doing this. This is such utter nonsense. Please repent in the name of Jesus Christ and serve him in truth and sincerity.